Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sword Coast Legends, this time Rage of Demons. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn, and join me while we start a new Rage of Demons campaign. Now, I have not played this campaign nor seen anything, any gameplay of this campaign. I'm going at this entirely blind, uh, but with a level 17 uh, fighter, totem, sweet Warhammer. Uh, Sword Coast Legends, the base campaign, I did initially, I've seen some gameplay, I went in sem mostly blind, but I, I had an idea of what I was getting into. Uh, this one I have no idea other than, the, other than that there are several factions you can join. So, I mean, if you're interested in playing the game, that might give it some replay value for you. Myself, I mean, I have all these other characters uh, for replay value. Most of them uh, make it like a tank wizard. I got a melee cleric and a sweet looking paladin right there. That <laughs> that armor makes him look chunky. Anyway, uh, let's get started with uh, Rage of Demons. New game. Oh, got to pick normal. Boom. Solo and start. And away we go. You have had many sleepless nights in the recent days, and you've been taking extra watches to help pass the hours. On this night, the world seems still and quiet, save for the sound of nimble footsteps nearby. Messenger arriving swiftly! <sighs> the message calls you to a place called the Wretched Warg, where a guild known as the Golden Feather is taking root. The guildmaster, Jasmine Kai, has asked you to meet her there. She says she has information that could be of particular value to you, and the information... I can read it. I'm reading it faster. I just don't remember what it says. The next morning, you gather your gear and make your way toward the wretched warg. What you might find there is uncertain, but with luck, it will earn you a good night's sleep. And scene. The wretched warg. This tavern has seen better days, but the new owners are still willing to offer you a brief respite. I know it's respite. And hello me, and hello... Ah, oh, stop my cooldowns from the last campaign. That's goofy. Cleric, information broker. Hey, my chest! So I can equip whatever I want? <gasps> Crazy. Alright. So many things... Okay, so this will be our camp. Let's go talk to the information broker. First things first. Ah, Burning Dawn. I was wondering when you'd show up. Uh, how do you know who I am? Because knowing things is what I do. Catherine Aptagern. I am Catherine Aptagern, a poet and storyteller from the faraway Moonshay Isles. I'm a collector of stories, if you will, and yours is the most interesting one. I would assume you're here to add a new chapter to that legacy. So you just collect stories. Well, collect and then trade them to the right people. For a fee, of course. But fear not, ask nothing from you. Just you being here is sure to do wonders for my collection. Okay. Let's talk to this Sunseeker cleric. Glorious sunrise to you, my friend. Are you also heading to Montol Dareth to bathe in the blood of dismembered demons? Uh, <laughs> yeah, who, who isn't? That's the spirit. I'm Dorotheus Sunseeker, newly ordained in the illumination of my order. We seek the purge and extermination of all demons. All right, Javen Tarmacos, I'm seeing, seeing I'm having flashbacks here. Have the honor of traveling into the Underdark for just such a purpose and can hardly contain my excitement. I see. But surely you have your own demons to face and I shall keep you no longer. Slay a few for me though, will you? Shouldn't that be a question? Unless it was you will, you know, talking like Yoda. Ah, whatever. Otteror Wave Harp. Hmm, fair enough. Okay, all right. Go, go, Druk Black Salt. No, wait, let me guess. By your garb, I take you as yet another adventurer heading to Montel Dareth on some quest. Yeah, I'm, I'm a simple merchant. Right, and I'm the Deep King. Just come up for some terrible human ale. I've just seen hundreds of you wannabe heroes come and go. Stars in their eyes and treasures untold in their brain. I have no time for fools. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to start arranging my inventory. I'm sure I can't actually communicate with anybody until I talk to her, but I'm going to do a once-around just to be safe. 
So far, I like the design. You know, you can get stuff from the uh, main campaign, and you have uh, you can respec at the beginning of this campaign as well. That's well done. Heading to Montel Dareth. Well, I'm gonna introduce myself, Seamus Ebendark, at your service. Uh, Montel, what? Ah, you should speak with Jasmine Kai. I believe she's looking for you. How do you know? She's just telling everybody. Okay. If you see this handsome, bearded, hammer-wielding fighter, uh, I'm looking for him. All right. Warg the Bounty Hunter. It's like neat looking armor. Another outsider, eh? Name's Warg. So long as you're not here hunting the same bounties I am, we won't have a problem. Is there any relation to this tavern? No, it's just a coincidence. Of all the watering holes I could choose a drink yet. Uh, let's, let's see. Anyone in particular you're after? That's my business, stranger. Got plenty to sell, stranger. Resident Evil 4. Mysterious merchant. Come on, guys. Come on. Plenty of other work in Montel Dareth for an outsider like yourself, though. Just watch you back in there. Alright. Fair okay. enough. Let's go talk to our, uh... My friend and yours, Jasmine Kai. Thought I heard someone out there. Welcome to the Wretched Warg, or what's left of it. Jasmine Kai, founder and captain of the Guild of the Golden Feather. Guild of the Golden Feather, sounds ridiculous. Make yourself comfortable, I believe you and I might have a friend in common. Alright, who's this friend you speak of? Alright, yeah, I'm not one for chit chat. I need to... Let's see. Found the Golden Feather as a haven for misfits and people with nowhere else to turn. Former soldiers, freed prisoners. I wonder if uh, the Dragonborn is there. And it turns out survivors of recently exterminated guilds. Not long ago, we met a man named Jarek Tannerholt. His guild hall had recently been attacked by mercenaries, and he was looking for a safe house to hide in, which brought him to me. Was Jarek from the Burning Dawn by any chance? Aw, oh, come on, you can hear the story. Jerk told me about the attacks on the Burning Dawn. As it happens, I too had been a member of the Dawn a decade ago. I couldn't turn him away. Where's Jerk now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he went to the Underdark instead of uh, sticking it out for word from his guild. Which is fair, because I didn't even heard of him. I would have never gotten in touch with him. Because no one's like, oh hey, you, you know that Jerk guy? Yeah, he's, he's alive. He and a few of my people packed up and took off for Mantle Dareth, a trade post between Grackle Stew and Menzo Baronzan. We haven't heard from them since they left. Uh, do you think he's still there? I don't know. Too much could have gone wrong. He could have been captured on the job, or killed in Mantle Dareth, or eaten by an Umber Hulk? I don't know. It's the Underdark. That's why I'm concerned. I'm asking you to travel to Mantle Dareth and meet with a man named Ustad. Or Duergar, I think. Sounds about right. The job that took Jarek to Mantle Dareth came from him. Let's see. Alright, yeah, I'll just do whatever I can. Jarek knew a way back to Mantle Dareth, which I'll mark on your map. When you get there, look for Ustad. If anyone knows what happens, what's happened to my people, it's him. I don't remember what I said there. All right, fair enough. Okay. Let's go by myself then. No party. I kind of hope I can get this guy. It looks pretty cool. Dismantle Dareth. No. I get to get a Menzo Baron's end this time. Well, I get my party at least. Where's the rest of my? Oh, there's Jarhild, I guess. I guess the other ones aren't prominent in this story, so you wouldn't get Javen. Bryn betrayed us. And who's up? Oh, Dal Dalinir should be around. No, because he went to go work with, uh... He stayed in Luskin. I'm not going to try and read all this before it loads, because it, it never works. So. Too bad if you were hoping for that. <sighs> Ooh, Yonzies. It's been a very long day. I've already been up for 13 hours, and it's only 2.30 in the afternoon. So. Another thing that was... So there's two things that caught my eye when this uh, campaign was advertised. Uh, Drizzt. 
from uh, the famous Drow is supposed to be in it. Some way, shape, or form. It says you can adventure with him, so I'm assuming that we're going to... Uh... Okay, can I go that way? That's world travel. And also that you can create your own companions. So you can explain why my Enclave's own guards came by to tell me my shop is being closed down? I thought we'd been over this tolerine. Well, I distinctly remember you yelling in my face like this, though I don't remember resolving anything. The thief is still at large, and you're still the most likely culprit. I told you already, drow. I don't know any anything about your stolen goods. Why would, why would I care about some drow trinkets anyway? Don't play dumb with me. I know you and your Duergar thugs are trying to round up anyone selling demonic artifacts. Just the other day, I saw you hassling Alare. Alare. Because she was trying to cheat me on some sealed scrolls. You drow are always trying to concoct some ridiculous scheme to cheat us out of our gold. You've gone too far this time. I'm taking this up with Thark himself, and when I'm done, I'll bring the entire enclave down on your head. Do whatever you want. I will catch that thief. If you're really innocent, maybe you should be should be sending those thugs of yours to hunt for the thief too. I'm not gonna be part of your ridiculous delusions, Drow. This isn't over. This is an ogre. Alright, what's going on, Tarin? What? What do you want? I'm not selling anything right now. Not until the thief is caught. Oh, it's been going on for weeks. Someone has been stealing from the drow shopkeepers here, only taking things that relate to demons. Somehow, they're always able to get away unseen, even with the owners watching. Obviously, we suspect magic or some other kind of trickery. Or they're invisible. The Duergar are clearly the ones doing this. Ever since the attack, they've been trying to round up everything related to demons, going so far as to harass my fellow shopkeeps, accusing them of being involved. Of course, they suspect the drow in the attack. Surely, we'd have nothing to lose from destroying our own damn... Trade caravans, idiots, fearmongers, all of them. How do you know they're the thieves? Of course it's them. The demon attack has got them whipped up in a frenzy, trying to lock down the outpost and remove everything demonic from our shops. They weren't able to st strong arm the other factions into doing it, so instead they resorted to petty thievery. Not that I expect anything better from the likes of them. That's just really racist stuff. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm not going to keep reading. I'm a little, feeling a little under the weather. My throat's a little sore. I can't keep doing that. No, oh, man. I'm not a warlock. Oh no, I messed up an imp. I've messed up my fair share of imps already. Okay. Expert in tracking down magical artifacts. Then why hasn't he tracked it down already? That would be the powder. Okay. Uh, he could if he could keep himself focused on a task more than five minutes. Alright, fair enough. So we got a ADHD imp. Yes. Hold on, what's this? Okay. All right. Wait, Here why is go. it making me go? It's a farm deal. Well, the Grey Males really did it this time. Getting a feud with the Drow, stealing. If it turns out to be true, their clan will be driven out of here as fodder for the demons. The Grey Males? Oh, you must be new here. That's the clan that Loudmouth Dorgar belongs to. The one yelling at the Drow there. Some of the best smiths in Mantle Dareth, or so they say. Others say they lie and cheat to drive out competitors. Judging from this recent string of thefts, I'm inclined to believe those stories. Yak Droll especially. He's well known for swindling his customers. I wouldn't be surprised if he was directly involved in the thefts. You're quick to condemn your own people. 
Not all Durgor have blind loyalty to their people and their clans, especially here with so many uh, with so many merchants competing for business. One needs to be careful who they put their trust in. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. So there's a Durgar that's against the Durgar. But for all we know, you could have one of those uh, amulets of confoundedness on them. Let's go over here and start stealing stuff. Yes. Okay. What happened? Nothing happened. Okay. Nada? It would be a D&D &D Let's Play if I didn't, wasn't uh, looting stuff out of houses, but there's nothing to loot. Uh oh, hold on a second. A sword handle. Let's go check this other house again, because that one didn't show up until we we're on our way out. This doesn't have the best wisdom. Wisdom is also one of the uh, the checks in uh, oh, venison. All these are named folk. I'm not gonna keep going this way. I'm gonna talk to venison and then work my way back that way. Yes. Okay. Let's follow these prints. I'm sure we have to do this before we do anything else. So let's see what sort of goods they have down in the Underdark. General goods. I'll have to go to the cart, okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> Thick buckler. Alright, so this is if you made a new character and went directly to... Um, To Rage of Demons. Here we go. Potion Merchant. I'm going to talk to him in case he has something to do with the quest, which I'm sure they'd have a quest mark above their heads if that were the case, but better safe than sorry. Hey, a tiefling. Actually, I'm not sure where tieflings reside in uh, Faerun. A bone dagger. There's a poison damage. Not as good as what I got. Demon skull mask. Wisdom and charisma. So that'd be good for a, uh, a warlock. Also good for a warlock. Because warlocks use charisma for their spell casting, as opposed to most classes. They might have wisdom checks. I'm not 100% on that. It's pretty good. Pretty good equipment there. For a warlock, of course, which I'm not using. I am making a melee uh, warlock in one of my other playthroughs. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on. There we go. Gotta learn to click the right thing. Keep things moving. Andrew Durgar. I'm gonna try and help this guy out. Uh, move along, outsider. Alright. Two drow guards are in a heated discussion. Let's see. Examine the guards. So it doesn't matter which one I look at. Yeah. I wish this was like other games. Uh, some other games, not every other game. But you can select your specific companion that has a high wisdom stat. And try doing the wisdom check and it will work. It's kind of lame. Oh, okay.
Yeah, I'm sure there is. So. Yeah, it makes sense. Fair enough. Can't buy anything from him because he's the shop that got shut down by the drow over here. The one we're doing the quest for. Pretty sure it's just these footprints we gotta follow. Ms. Vehemence? Why? This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Like, much, much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So we're probably better off just following the main story. Uh, for now. So let's go back. All right. Follow these footprints. What I assume is a dog, but it might not be. Let's talk to this guy, though. So this is a big deal. Like any threat. Like any threat, demons offer opportunity for wealth uh, and advancement. Okay. Yes. A fruit vendor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't belong to me. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, they don't like imps. It is a demon, and they were just attacked by demons from what I've gathered. So maybe, you know, okay. gallivanting around with a... a demon isn't the best idea. What did we find? Magical residue. Let's go up here. There's, like, stuff I can loot. I'm all about the loot. That's what keeps me coming back. Time and time again. Loop of discernment. Plus one to wisdom saves. Not a big deal. Again, I think most of this could be targeted or uh Yeah, targeted for like new new characters starting the Rage of Demons expansion. Oh no, I saw the sealed scrolls. Never mind. That's what I saw. I saw the Carreras. Hello, Traveler. Unfortunately, I can't sell to you. My wares are reserved for those within the Zentarum. Who do I need to talk to about this? She's right behind me. Okay. Scratch your back, she'll scratch yours back. Alright, so maybe I can get into some sweet loot. Sweet mercantile. What, who's Abilie? All right. Equipment repairs. Was Call me Malignity. See, I didn't know tieflings had names like that. I thought they were, I don't know, more like angelic names, like Azazel and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I have a piece of a broken shield. Let's see. Alright, so I have a piece of a shield and a piece of a broken sword. Uh, unfortunately, I don't use a shield. If it's a two-handed sword, then I'm in luck, because I use two-handed weapons. Here we go. Fantastic. It sounds like your wars have been making great progress. Keep me posted with any updates. Of course, that goofy-looking... Well, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. My name is Kenthra Storgi, chief negotiator for the Zantarim. Or Zantarim. We don't get many visitors from the surface down here, so it's nice to see a potentially friendly face. Tell me, how did you gain passage to Mantle Dareth? <clears throat> hey, I'm on a mission for the Golden Feather. I'll be honest. Ah, okay, kind, upstanding woman. Between you and me, she's the kind of person you don't mind owing favors to. Yeah, I'm here to crack some skulls. Oh, well, the Durgar are also hunting demons. They're not a race you want trouble with, trust me. You know, it may not be work of the skull cracking nature, but I do have a problem you could probably help solve. Oh, she helped me get here. Alright, yeah. 
There are three basic principles in Mantle Dareth that must never be broken. Number one, no stealing any goods from any fellow merchants. Fairly straightforward. Number two, no disguising of goods. We're surrounded by wizards here, and they'd love to use illusions to make things look more valuable than they are. And number three, no use of magic during negotiations and haggling. Break any of those rules, and you get chained up and thrown in the Dark Lake. Nice, sounds pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, that's where we have a problem. A merchant in West Marketplace has been accused of breaking such a rule. This merchant happens to be an outsider like you and me. As the only faction in Mantle Dareth from the surface, the Xantarim are seen to represent all people here not native to the Underdark. When a surface dweller breaks the rules, it falls to us to deal with the situation. Yeah. I'd say make sure she's innocent if you catch my drift. If you can't, that's not a problem either. The situation sounds to be unavoidable, but us Xantarim have our part to do in the vi have to do our part in the investigation. Goodness gracious. Uh, still operating for the time being, but the accusations are serious. She doesn't have long for the drowned Dergar call for her to take an extended dip in the lake. Her name is Razira Falcon's Dawn. She's an elf or half elf, point of years, you know. Like I say, when was the last time an elf cheated anyone? Yeah, we'll take care of it. And then compensation. Maybe I'll have access to their uh, their market. So I think those are the three factions. We've now been introduced to all three. The Durgar, the Drow, and the Zentarim, which I guess are just surface dwellers. Which is also fun. As we are surface dwellers, I'm sure I will... Light's Fate. Wow, 12 cantrip damage. Is that a... It's a mace. That's a... It's pretty good. I think that her... Yeah, she's got a sword and board. I don't know what sword she has. Nothing that can't be replaced with that. What can I do for you? So now she has an obscene amount of healing on her. Looks like that's forty percent extra healing, and that's twenty-five percent for a total of sixty-five extra healing when her bow just gives her thirty percent. And it's also increased her cantrip damage significantly. So if she can use that with her cantrip. She's in a good way. So I'll probably have her melee then. So my character, well, I guess Larithar. Not important. Let's go. Here we go. Let's talk to the Zentarum guard. No visitors for the Black Network today. What's behind those doors? It's not like Drow and Durga warehouses. Okay. Feel for a special vendor or something. They're over by the pavilion out in the cavern here. Kanthra will usually authorize it if you help out the Black Network. All right. So they can they call themselves the Black Network. So the Black Market is behind those doors, I assume. Yes. Uh, sealed scrolls. Okay. Okay. Keep following these footprints. And the plot thickens. Uh, run back this way. Make sure we didn't miss any perception checks through that path. Okay, that's the Drow chief negotiator. So talk to them. Uh, yeah, is there something I can help you with? You're with the Gold Feather, are you not? Brought in by the Xantarum to flit about like a butterfly, causing storms with your tiny wings. All right, a little, little dramatic with your tooth dress. I'm busy with important matters. Uh, you seem frustrated with something. Clearly, you're a master of deduction. I'm a master of more than just deduction, my dear Ravfrin. Hmm. Yeah, there is probably something I can help you with. Chief negotiator for the Drow here at Mantle of Dareth. A time here would be as pleasant as a vacation were it not for the failure of the captain of my guard. A negligent waste name. at. Yeah. Uh, what has he done wrong? What she hasn't done that matters. Okay. The Zivifr. 
What the heck? Whatever. Okay, so I guess there's... I guess ruins or something? Doors are defending, but they're actually going to take it over? Oh, she's concerned about everyone taking it. Okay. So, I would compare these guys more to... Um, shoot. I can't remember it now. I'll, I'll come back to it. There's a... Uh, Like the uh, Dark Elves from Warhammer, where they're very political in nature and try to sabotage each other all the time. and But in this case, they're trying to sabotage the other races, because, you know, they'll unify against opposing races. Just like uh, in Warhammer 40k, how the Eldar and Dark Eldar will unify, or uh, battle a common threat if need be. Let's see. Oh, hey, I talked to Lima earlier. Or I tried to. I tried to listen to her with that wisdom check, and it didn't work. Speak to Talton, one of my favorite personal caregivers, you could say. Meyer is... To me, she swore to deliver an alert to the appropriate location where Talton would carry out the deed. Yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, well, that seems straightforward enough. Talk to a few people, see why this guy is still alive. And the game crashed, so, um, now is as good a time as any to call it quits for the day. I don't think anything's saved, so I have to catch back up to where I was off camera. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope to catch y'all on the next not crashed video.